Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of Thoughts from the Car with Irvin's Garcon. Uh, it's been a while since I posted a video, but since you're here and you're checking this out, I thank you, I appreciate you. Uh, just go ahead and, you know, housekeeping stuff. Just like this video, uh, comment on it subscribe to the channel you know share with some people who might benefit from hearing my thoughts like you are hearing my thoughts right now all right appreciate you thank you in advance um i've had a very interesting school year working at uh, working and at my job if you um if you did not know i am a school counselor and I work in a middle school with students from the fifth grade all the way up to the eighth grade. Um, and one of the things that we've been struggling with a lot is we have a lot of the kids who are having a lot of diff different symptoms, especially following this pandemic, from anxiety attacks to panic attacks to depression, uh, to um, you know, different mood disorders or or whatever the case may be, and a lot of them is as though they, especially with their age, they're very young too, and so a lot of them have not developed the coping skills on how to push through and overcome some of the challenges that they're they're facing. Some of the things that they have, they are going to are validated. There are other factors that is going on in their homes, uh, in their environment, in the school itself, uh, dynamics, friendship, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But one of the things that's, that that has been crippling them from overcoming and being resilient and pushing through is their mind, right? And by that I mean they are they have this 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 struggle or hardship or disability to condition their mind for success. And I start to think about how the mind is a very powerful thing. The mind is a very powerful thing. That is why we often talk about growth mindset. If you don't have a growth mindset to be able to see positivity, even in the most difficult of challenges, that thing could be very crippling. It could be so crippling, regardless of what age you are. You almost have to condition your mind every single day to be able to push through, to be able to tell yourself, yes, this is difficult, but I can do it. And of course, I don't wanna belittle that experience or belittle and make it sound so trivial and so easy. That is not my intention at all. But it is so imperative that we start here with the mind. Um, I feel like um, if you want to spiritualize it because we are spiritual beings, the enemy attacks our mind. Uh, and that's why the scripture talk about renewing our minds on a constant basis. Because once he's able to trap your mind, you know, that's a really great start. Great, great start to attack and affect everything else. And you know, the Bible talks about how God's will is for us to be to be prospering in all manner of speaking, not just in the physical, but he wants us to be whole, both in mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. Sometimes you see in the scripture, you use spirit, but that is the same thing in referring to, 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 to the mind. Because once your mind is affected, uh, with the negativity, once it has uh, it has started to end well in your mind, uh, then the crippling effect will affect every single thing, everything else that you, you have uh, going on, including the physical. The mind affects the physical. So I'm here to encourage somebody to to start developing this concept of renewing your mind, of trying to see the positivity even in the most hard, in the most difficult situations force yourself to see the positivity uh i work with students right now who 
who basically had um, have an attack of the mind that is the, that is manifested uh, in anxiety or, or 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 fear, and those that fear of in, or anxiety is so crippling that they cannot do anything else. They wake up not wanting to do anything and having no answer or idea what is causing them to be in such a crippling state. So I encourage y'all right now, just guard your mind, guard your mind and train your mind to try to see the positive in every single situation. Thank y'all for listening. I appreciate y'all. Uh, you have a great, great day, night, evening, wherever you are, whatever time you might be watching this and continue to strive for your mind, growth mindset. Thank you.